In this lesson, I'm going to show you some very basic math functions in JavaScript. I've created a basic form which accepts a number and a second number from the user. When you hit calculate, and I'm just going to change the values here to zero and zero, when you hit calculate it will divide number one by number two and give us the results to different fixed levels, to different precision levels, and to round floor and ceiling. When I calculate 0 divided by 0, we get NAN. That stands for not a number. If it's an invalid operation, like this is, that's the response that you'll get. If you divide 0 by 10, you'll get 0. If you divide 10 by 0, you'll get infinity, because that's also not a valid equation. When you're working with a valid equation, we'll divide 10 by 34, it will give you, if you just do the division, as many numbers as it can display. If you take it to a fixed level, it rounds it to the nearest whole number. And to fix, this is showing you what, the, this is fix one, we were doing a parse float, which is converting it to a float, which is a number with a decimal point to a fixed level of 1. That gives you one number past or to the right of the decimal point. When you do it to a fixed level of 2, to fixed 2, it gives us 0.29. Again, rounding. When we get a fixed 3, it gives us 2.294. And again, when we're using to fix, this is how many places it's fixing it to the right of the decimal point. A precision response is different. A precision response will give you a total number of actual valid characters. So let's take this a little bit differently. This gives us five levels of precision. This gives us four. Let's do 20 divided by 7.38. Now this is the actual answer. When we have it fixed to 1, it's 2.7. Fixed to 2 is 2.71. Fixed to 3 is 2.71 because it ignores the zeros and cuts it off to the next real number. To precision 3, this gives us three values of precision. We're doing the same thing with 4 and 5 because the zero numbers aren't significant. Let's try it another way. 8.3. And so this is giving us four numbers of precision because it's cutting off when we get to the zero. It rounds up to one. That's meaningful. This gives us five points of precision. When we're rounding, if it's five or over, it rounds up. If it's four or under, it rounds down. So here, we're rounding to two because it's 2.4. Floor rounds down every time, so it's rounding down to 2. Ceiling rounds up every time, so it's rounding up to 3. Let's change this to 8.2, and that should have 2 point something higher than 4. So it's 2.43, it's giving us the same. Let's just do 8 divided by 8. Okay, so that's giving us 2.5, 8.1, all right, this should change our rounding. 2.46 rounds to 2.5, 2.47, 2.469. We're seeing the appropriate levels of precision. Three total numbers of precision, four, five. When we round, it rounds down to two, and the ceiling is three. If we were to find a number where it's 2.56, you'll notice that rounding, it switches, it rounds up, so now it's the same number as the ceiling. So floor rounds down, seal rounds up, round de depends on if you're over point or under 0.5. Your precision levels gives you your total numbers of precision, and your to fixed function gives you how many places to the right of the decimal. 
These are the ones that you would commonly use in business. Even to precision, you're not going to use that often, but you will round, floor, seal, and the two fixed you will use very frequently. So you should know how to work with those. So the code over here, we have variable number one, variable number two. My answer is number one divided by number two. We've got the value equals my answer, which I use here to assign the two fixed. And in each one of these, we have to use the parts float. But here, we're actually using a math function. You can tell it's a function because it's math.round. Math is a library with different procedures in it, a function with different options. So math.round, we pass in the value of my answer. So it's not part of the basic JavaScript syntax. It's an additional function that we're calling. You know it's a function because we're passing it information here. In the, ver in the parentheses, just like we are with the two precision and the two fixed over here. And so that's a very simple code, just demonstrating some basic math functions.